So this is a three medium hive. It's got this silver wrap around it, which is basically a windbreak. It's not really adding much for insulation. And it doesn't have a top entrance. It's got a piece of, a really thick piece of hard insulation up top, underneath the inner cover. But, and that's all it has, and it's just this wrap. So essentially, it's, this is a, what they call a condensing hive, because it doesn't have an upper entrance. It's got a big, thick piece of insulation up top, and no, nothing on the side, so it's got a, a heat differential, basically. So as the biological moisture arises, as the condensing people like to call it, uh, the biological moisture from the bees hits that warm roof, it naturally just goes to the sides and condenses on the sides of the hive where it doesn't drip down on the bees, and apparently where the bees can use it for digesting honey and everything else. It really helps the bees. And uh, so that's what I've got going, and I've got that with most of my hives this year. Actually, I think I got it with all of them. So, and you can see here, I got a lot of dead bees, and I don't have a reduced entrance. I've never bought into the, well, bought into it, I just don't do bottom reduced entrances as much in the winter. Anyway, there's a lot of dead bees in this hive, mainly because I suspect it's an extremely <laughs> populated hive, and the summer bees just uh, haven't got cleaned out. That's more dead bees than I'm used to seeing, but it's also an extremely populated hive. So I wouldn't be surprised if these are a lot of old summer bees. Since I've got my endoscope, I'm going to take a peek and see what I can see, just to make sure they're okay. All right, let's see what we see here. Oh, there they are. Oh, we, man, we got bees here. Look at that. So there they are. That's right in the middle. Oh, and to the side. That's really neat. Okay, cool. I'm not going to bother them. But they're clustering in the middle and on the side. So all those dead bees, there's just a lot of bees in there and I think that's all that's happening. Uh, there's a lot of summer bees just uh, died. So, let's see. And this was this maybe was clogging up the, all those dead bees. There we go, nice. And I'll just put that in with tacks. Very nice. Well, that's cool. All right, let's see what happens. Now that was a lot of dead bees. They may have gotten hit with some cold wind blowing into the bottom entrance. So to prevent that, I'm, I'm going to just put a piece of board over it. So it'll still, they can still breathe but uh, the wind shouldn't blow directly into the hive as much. And that's it. So, wow. Big clump of bees down there. Um, last time I checked, months ago, this was absolutely packed with bees. The only thing I don't like, this is new to me, is that I normally have a top entrance up here that's either open or blocked, and then once I notice the bees have risen to the top entrance and I can see them coming up the top, then I go, okay, they're, they're eating through their honey. Let's have emergency honey or emergency feed on, on hand. Uh, uh, without that, though, I don't have this top entrance on this hive, so I, I can't do that. I've just got to hope for the best. But anyway, this is, I suppose, in theory, it's a condensing hive, which means the bees, again, they just... Uh, the moisture that they naturally produce rises to the top, hits that insulation, and then moves to the side of the hive, or the front of the hive, where it condenses on the cold hive. And then all that moisture allows them to drink water throughout the winter and eat honey, uh, easier apparently. And then that's it. And then they regulate the, 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 the hive temperature and the moisture and the CO2 and everything on their own. 
and that's the only ventilation they have that is that down there I, I know that ventilation hole is supposed to be even smaller than that but I'm I'm just going with what I I'm going with that uh, so I think that should be fine I hope so I don't know it's new to me uh, either way uh, I think all the fussing about that we do with our bees and all these ideas and theories and science that we have behind it and then the science is wrong but I think generally though if you have strong healthy colony going into winter with lots of honey and you got good weather you're gonna do well anyway so that's that all right that went well absolutely packed with bees bees clustering down below and lots of honey up top so and cl clustering on this side more than that side Sometimes that can indicate that a mouse got in and took a poop or lived there or still is living there and they're just pooped over to the other side, but I think they're just over to the other side just because that's where they like to be. So this is another hive, same thing, same setup, big thick piece of insulation up top, just the silver wrap around the sides. So again, it creates a, a thermodynamic differential so that when the moisture from the bees rises up, it just naturally curves hits the side and condenses on the side or the front where the bees can drink it la -de da 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 live happily ever after um, this is three mediums and right here, you can't see it because I got it duct taped up but behind this hole there's a, there's a hole, there's an actual upper entrance uh, just below the inner cover or the piece of hard insulation so maybe later on in the winter or I can open up that little piece of duct tape in there and see if the bees are, have risen up so right now, I'm just going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to pull this off. Oh, look at that, a bit of moisture. Let me just taste it. And then, yeah, that's actually that's syrup or something. That's not even syrup. because I, Did I give them syrup? Yeah, I did. I gave them a little bit of medicated syrup for the winter. So that might that, that looks like a bit of... That doesn't look like a dead bees. It doesn't look like water. It looks like syrup, which happens. The syrup expands and contracts with the, in the cold. And it pours out of the out of the frames. Let's see how many bees we got here. Now this one doesn't have as many dead bees because it's a much smaller cluster. I know it's a much smaller colony. Um, it has a new queen though, and this is why I have high, I hope that they do well because it's got a nice, well mated queen. I was tempted to give them even more insulation just to protect that queen because she's a young queen and she lays. That's from what I can tell, she's laying really well. And I want her to keep laying well. So, let's take a look. Now, I don't expect to see as many bees in this hive, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna be on one side of the hive. So let's see, let's see what I can see. Oh, that's not it. Nothing there. Let's go over here, let's go right in the middle. No, no. Okay. Now you can see a big hunk of uh, propolis there. I think. Yeah, it looks like propolis. I hope that. What is that? Is that propolis? I don't know what that is. I hope it's nothing rodent related. Right up the middle now. No, nothing. Okay, let's get right in there and see what we can see. Okay. All right. Well, definitely not as many bees in this hive. <coughs> so they're clustering up already. And that makes me feel a little bit concerned. But what can you do in the winter time? Nothing. Not really anything. Uh, this this one's not fitting as well. Nope, I can't get this one on. Okay, screw it. I'll just put the mesh back on. There's not many bees in this hive anyway, so I don't think they're gonna get clogged up. So I may, since they're clustering up, I might take a look on a warm day. I might, uh, I'm a little bit concerned about this hive, to be honest. I was concerned about it going into winter, and I wanted to give them more, more brood, more population going into the winter, because it wasn't a huge population. 
and I just didn't have time for it. So, anyway, <clears throat> I really hope they make it though, because it's a nice young queen in there. And, uh, and I don't want to see her die. So, I'm going to put a piece of board in front of that hive, that bottom entrance, to block the wind, just like I did with that one. So that one's looking pretty good. Boy, there's a lot of bees in there, though. Um, I wish half of those bees were in this, this hive, and it, I would have a nice, even split of uh, bees. Yeah, I'm, I'm concerned about these, these ones. I think, I suspect that in the spring, I'm going to make my prediction now, in the spring, I'm going to have to knock these bees down to a very small box and then just feed them like crazy and uh, get them to build up because they got a young queen so as long as she's not she's healthy doesn't have no seam or anything like that I think I can get her back in business get her back up to up to speed but right now I don't think this, there's something a bit off like even going into the spring in the winter I thought there was something off about these bees there they just weren't I don't know, they were shutting down, they shut down too early. They weren't making as much honey going into winter as I expected. There's a few other things, but really what I should have done is I should have taken some brood from that hive and just dropped them in this, this hive as soon as I saw that they weren't building up in August because basically in August is when you got to prepare for winter. What's, what's happening in August tells the tale for winter and I didn't, I didn't give them what they needed. It's not a complete disaster or anything, but it's it might be a little iffy. I'm tempted to give them more insulation just to give them every bit of protection they can get. Anyway, we'll see. I'll think about it.